Hi everyone and welcome back to the Minnesota Homestead. I am in a really good mood today because I have been spending a lot of my time thinking about honeybees. As you know, we have one hive right now and I am currently very worried about it as we are undergoing a Minnesota winter. Um, our hive did make it last year, but you know, there's a really low survival right here in Minnesota. I've got two feet of snow at the cabin. Um, so, you know, you never know, but I'm pretty thrilled that we just placed an order for two more uh, packages of bees. So this spring, we will have three hives if our current hive makes it, um, and regardless, we'll have two hives. So I want to show you something that can be really, really beneficial to the health of your bees. When you talk about honeybees, you hear a lot of things about honey, pollen, uh, nectar, but you don't necessarily hear a lot about something called propolis. Propolis is an extremely important part of the bee's ecosystem in their nest in the wild. And something that has been detrimental to bees has been potentially that their hives, when they are in a human made hive, doesn't allow for as much propolis. So backing up, what is propolis? When bees are out foraging, they'll gather uh, resins like sap, bring that back to the hive, mix that with wax, and it makes this kind of a sticky residue. And what they do is they use that to seal up any cracks. And that's what beekeepers traditionally see it used for. Um, so, you know, we'll have multiple hive boxes and we'll see it sealing up the cracks here, maybe in the entrances and things like that. But if you go and find a honeybee nest in the wild, something you'd find differently is that they cover the entire inside of their nest with propolis. And recently, people have been discovering that there are actually a lot of hygienic things that come along with that propolis. Some of the things in the resin um, can actually be antibacterial, antimicrobial, it's probably not exactly the right word, but they're very, very healthy and they can actually contribute to a healthier hive. So to mimic that kind of an environment, people are starting to um, change a little bit up with how they handle their Langstroth hives. So in a typical hive, you've got your hive boxes and the insides are very, very smooth. This doesn't really leave anywhere for bees to lodge their propolis, to you know put it all around. So people now are doing things like building their hives out of rough hewn wood that hasn't been sanded down or anything like that. Or in the case of me, when I don't have the time to build my own like sharp hives, maybe someday, I'm gonna be doing something like taking a rasp, which is like a giant nail file <laughs> for metal and wood. And I'm actually gonna be roughing up the insides of my hive here. And And as you see, this is one of the sides as it came. Nice, smooth, really nowhere for the bees to put any propolis and have it stick. And over here, we see what I have accomplished with our rasp. So it's definitely a lot more rugged through here. I have some really large scratches and then just some general scratchiness overall. And I think that once I do this throughout all of the hive boxes, it's going to give the bees a lot better chance to get propolis all up in the hive. Thank you for spending some time with me while I took care of one of our hive boxes. I hope this was interesting to you um, and that it was continuing to pique your interest about maybe doing some beekeeping yourself. Um, I always like to remind you that we are novice beekeepers. We are not a big time people. So, um, you know, I love to teach you what we're learning and what we know, but I direct you to the University of Minnesota's Bee Squad for any hard hitting questions because they are phenomenal experts. We took some great classes with them. They've taught us a lot of what we know. So if you have any more questions, you can definitely check them out. Um, and also keep coming back to our channel because I'm going to be posting a lot more bee stuff over the coming months. Um, we are trying a new variety of bee this year and I'm excited to talk about the Saskatchewan at some point. Um, and then I'll be actually getting more hive boxes and things and I'll probably shoot a video of what makes up 
a link shop hive. So I hope you hit that subscribe button down below so you get notified every time we post one of these videos and check out everything else like our blog, our Instagram. And we will see you next time here at the Homestead.